one of the people who ran Trump's 2016 campaign will testify against the latest Trump associate facing charges related to that campaign. Steve Bannon, Trump's former campaign executive, will testify against Roger Stone. The prosecutor said in his opening statement that Stone, who was accused of obstruction of justice, among other charges, repeatedly lied under oath to Congress because, quote, the truth looked bad for the Trump campaign and the truth looked bad for Donald Trump, unquote. Shimon, Shimon Prokipes uh, joins me now to discuss. Uh, and Shimon, Bannon ran the campaign, uh, or at least was one of the leading people running it. How critical will his testimony be to the prosecution's case? Well, it appears it's going to be super critical, Jake. Prosecutors, uh, as you say, not only was he leading this campaign, uh, they described to the jury, they described him as being the CEO of the campaign uh, and how he and Roger Stone were in touch, that they were talking uh, over emails, that they were going back and forth forth uh, in their discussions. In one email that the prosecutors highlighted to the jury, uh, this happened in the summer in the height of when WikiLeaks was threatening to issue, to release more emails. Uh, he says, the prosecutor says that Stone emails Bannon saying that Trump could win and then quote, but it ain't pretty. And then Bannon replies, let's talk. Uh, prosecutors then say that Bannon and Stone were talking WikiLeaks all summer long, uh, saying that Stone uh, had told Bannon that he had inside information about what Julian Assange was doing. So by all accounts right now, they're pointing to Steve Bannon, prosecutors are, at least in their opening statements, uh, that he is intended to, that they intend to bring him in and that he's going to be a key witness in this case. And Shimon, uh, we're also learning more uh, about Stone's communication on the day of the DNC hack. Tell us about that. Yeah, and so this was a big point, came very quickly early on. It was the first witness in this case, a former FBI agent who actually was working for the Mueller team. Uh, and her role in this, Michelle Taylor, was the Roger Stone part of this. She was investigating Roger Stone. And she was highlighting how many times Roger Stone and then candidate Donald Trump were in communication. She went over the number of times that Roger Stone would call Donald Trump, the number of times that Donald Trump called Roger Stone on his cell phone, at his home phone, uh, about five times in total. And this was all happening when reports first started surfacing that WikiLeaks and that the DNC uh, had been hacked.